morning and welcome back to On The Road Adventure. This is our first night in tent. How did you sleep? I didn't until about 4.30 in the morning. I was still awake. It was cold here last night. Oh. I think I slept. I was just waking up to turn around in there, which I can do in my Nemo sleeping bag, which is good. Yeah, so I tried sleeping bags at home and I couldn't get on with them. I was fighting with the thing with my shoulders and I hated it. So Eva's got a Nemo Disco sleeping bag, which is like designed for Arctic explorers and no, good for minus not. 15 degrees, that is. It's still not Arctic, but if you want to have more room in your bag and turn around, that's the bag for you. I, on the other hand, went for a Thermarest blanket job, which is only good to zero degrees. So I think I was a bit colder last night, but there's plenty more things we can do, put on long johns and all the rest of it if we need to. So I'll be better prepared tomorrow night. We're learning all the lessons the hard way, that's what's going on here, and we expected that, so that's fine. Yeah, we are in Santander there right now, which is not very close to Picos, and that's why I think we are still in a bit of a colder climate. Right on the coast as well, yeah. yeah. So something that was helpful, one of you guys told us about in the comments from one of our previous trips, was bring earbuds camping, and we've done that. We bought a pack of these on Amazon, they're only cheap rubber ones, but they're really good for about eight quid. We've got a couple of packs of those, so thanks for having told us about that. Um, and on the subject of thanks, Nigel's Ride donated us some money to the um, Buy Me A Coffee page. And we said we thank everybody that does that. We're going to put that money towards a night's camping, so you can buy a night's camping for us. So thank you very much, Nigel's Ride. On the next one, thank you. hopefully we'll try to find someone perhaps a bit warmer. <laughs> much appreciated. So today's plan, get up, make coffee, shower, and then we're going to head off into the Picos. Yeah, let's see how cold it's in the Picos and if we're going to even stay there. Yeah, we think maybe camping in the Picos might be a terrible idea. We will camp. it was cold last night. We will camp. Yeah, but... There's no know. other option. I would definitely camp, but we'll have to <laughs> maybe get through the Picos. But we'll see how the day progresses. So, uh, yeah, coffee get this tent down, see how hard it is to get it back on the bag. Yeah, we need to shower and get ready in that cold as well. Uh, be all right, start moving, we'll be fine. Yeah. So all right, see you bit. soon. On your left. Wrong side of the road. Oh, fuck, yeah, we're wrong side of the road, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Morning, welcome back to the bikes. Yes, we're in Spain. and I need to go on the right side of the road. Tent's packed up, back in its bag, not in the way that it's, uh, it came out, but it is back in the bag. Those MSR tents are really well designed with the bag. It's got um, a big flappy bit at the top, so it's not a battle to get it back in there and zip it up. So that's a plus. So first stop, we are off for some petrol, and then we're gonna head for the Picos. And obviously we couldn't have left the campsite earlier than 11 o'clock. Almost bang on 11 o'clock and we're ready to get on the bikes and go. But I say that's a win. That's our first night camping. There was no major disasters and we were still on the bikes and ready to go. Packed up at 11 o'clock. Usually we leave a hotel at about 11 o'clock. So yeah, I reckon that's a win for us. So the mountains are getting closer, but they're looking a bit ominous. It looks very dark and rainy over there. Don't worry, the snow's brightening things up. Right, we just decided we'd uh, do a tactical stop and uh, stop in here and grab ourselves a coffee and a wee. More importantly, put the waterproofs on because it's just started and we can see the mountains over there, innit? That arrived pretty quick. So there is a baguette with some sort of egg and chorizo. Potato or something, what is it? Is. Potatoes, bravas, or whatever they call it. And two really nice looking espressos. It's like a cold potato on cheese and onion omelette or something. Really, I've ordered you this one, but it looks better. <laughs> oh, so you got that one now, have you? <laughs> it's not bad. We're going to share. This is, this is like the inside of a cheese and onion pasty. <laughs> That's what that is. Right. Yeah, nice little ride that, wasn't it? But we can uh, see the mountains approaching. And um, yeah, they look very ominous, very black. I can smell the rain. I'm not sure everybody believes me. I'm sure there's other bikers out there, but I can smell rain. I'm Same. usually pretty good at uh, yeah, knowing to put that on, put the waterproofs on before it happens. I'm just always in denial. 
Yeah, it's such a faff putting them on, isn't it? That's the trouble. But I think we'll be thankful, if, yeah, doing it. So, yeah. So we'll scoff this and get up into the uh, into the Picos Mountains. See what the fuss is about. Yeah. <laughs> So this is the town of Potts. Well, I'm sure there's another way of saying it. Looks like a, a pretty old medieval looking place though. My sat nav keeps trying to send us up these little tiny streets. No, mine's just straight on. You probably set like the really adventurous route. I did put it on the twisty route, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's stick to the road, shall we? Oh, this is it. Is it? And 621. The thing though about us both having a sat nav is that you know if one of us has put it in wrong or we got it different, we're gonna notice pretty quick. Whereas if you've made a mistake and you're on your own, it would be really easy to crack on for miles on the wrong direction, wouldn't it? In roads like this, and it? so it builds your confidence again when you're going through all these twisties and that. There's a common theme of going up now twisties and mountains. with rain as long as they ain't got any of the white stuff on the road at the top. We're getting higher but the weather's getting worse. Definitely getting colder up here isn't it? So we just came down from the Picos Mountains. So it didn't occur to us at all when we were riding earlier in the day, looking up at the snow-capped mountains, that perhaps going up into them might be a bad idea. It wasn't just cold and wet for what, the last two hours, three hours maybe. It was fucking dangerous. I'm not joking. This is, if I ever feared for my life, it was on that road. Yeah, and she has every reason to. I, I've been riding a long time and I don't mind admitting I, I was fearful as well. Where we got up near the deer, um, in the Picos there, in the mountain top. It was so windy, there was gusts there nearly taking me off my feet and I ain't no light chap. And we had to carry on riding over the top and get back down again. I'm definitely not small. 
at that point the, loaded. the batteries went and we did not stop we just wanted to keep going to get away so um, yeah now we found ourselves in a little small town in a cafeteria we're going to eat and decide what we're going to do we are soaking wet our feet are wet my waterproofs gave in again I don't know it's just all soaked yeah waterproof bottoms the top's good yeah, yeah, the top is from Oxford, it's good. Yeah, we need to replace our bottoms next, I think. But also, we need to have more common sense and start riding into snow-capped mountains, eh? Turns out they're cold and wet and windy. <laughs> I say well, live and learn, but we don't seem to. Let's heat up a bit and find what we're doing next. Yeah. Homemade Chris, so how's it at? Patatas. Patatas. I don't know. <laughs> Patatas. Very good. <laughs> Well, we just dipped into that little cafe there, got ourselves a quick coffee. It is freezing up on the peak. And we checked the weather, it's pouring down as it was in the mountains from here up to Portugal. Yeah, so we are, hello. Sadly, sadly have to not come tonight. Yeah, it's just, it's just not practical trying to put up a tent as cold and wet as we already are and then staying outside. I mean, really, you don't want to get sick on day two, do you? No, it's just foolish. So we've, uh, we've conceded and we're, uh, we're going to a hotel. It's about 45 minutes from here, so. Ah, uh, that'll be a painful 45 minutes. It is, I'm just stood outside. We're, we're wet through and shivering already, so yeah. All right, see you when we're there. See you next one. So what happened now, I got backed into by that van and we've got a police with us and we're just waiting to what's going to happen. I came off, I think I hit my leg, but I can't feel the pain yet, I think it's the adrenaline and uh, Rich nearly beat them up, but so yeah, we're seeing what's going to happen now. There's no microphone on this, so I hope <laughs> the sound is good enough. So I've got damage. To the exhaust mainly uh, one panel somewhere and I think it's just worth more stress than yes. anything else yes. I mean he could have broken my leg if he hit but me in the other that could, that could have been just, a trip over now yeah so. yeah and let's see what the police are saying well that's dog shit but we're really lucky really you know either didn't end up with a broken leg or any more it damage hurts, to the bike it could have been but finished I don't think it's broken so we tried to deal with the uh, you know, Euro situation just to put an end to it. The damage is quite little really. Once again, bark busters, crash bars, it makes all the difference. So there's only a, a small amount of damage really. I thought really. that the boxes, panniers were fucked, yeah. but they were not. Both times the bike's been down, once when you dropped it in Germany, and this time it's been hit, the panniers have come off and disconnected themselves. So I don't know whether it's a design thing or whatever, but they're not, they've not even damaged the panniers. It's hard to think that, you know, it's really infuriating because we just went through the hardest mountain pass ever. Yeah, one dickhead like that, yeah. been looking in his mirror, as simple as that. Yeah. And they were actually already here when we were pulling. Yeah, he had no reason to do what he was no. doing, yeah, he just didn't look. I mean, we all make mistakes and that, like, you know. Um, yeah, luckily I couldn't get over Eva's bike to get to him quick enough. Had to <laughs> stop him not to beat the bloke up, and then he smiled. Yeah, it's fucking enraging, I tell you. Yeah, but it is what it is. Yeah, he's probably nervous laughter to be fair, yeah, you know. But anyway, the police yeah, are checking documents and stuff. And uh, yeah, because the van is uh, the workman, so he's not gonna jump out of four, five hundred euros. He's just gonna put it on the In fairness, insurance. There's a damaged bit of plastic, a little bit of damage to the pannier there, um, a bit of damage on the exhaust. So yeah, five hundred quid or something probably would have covered that. We're we'll taking it to a Honda dealer now, and the insurance company. I can probably give them a hell of a bill for it, but we'll see how it works out. But anyway, police are doing paperwork and we'll be on our way. Yeah, we managed to break two, two brake lights. See, on both sides, that is a... Or maybe that's from another hit. Yeah, maybe. I don't know what pushed... It ha all happened so quickly, I didn't even see. Yeah, well, the, uh, the camping situation's had a bit of an upgrade. I think we deserve it after the day we've had today. We've had a rotten day. It has been raining all day. The wind was damn right dangerous on the top of the Picos. And then we stopped and uh, poor Eva got knocked off her bike and damaged the bike. And then we had to deal with the police for over two hours. And 
Yeah, it was nearly three hours, I think. Yeah, and then we tried to find the accommodation when I'm never sat now. Obviously, we were hungry in the middle, so of we course. had to look for a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. And you had not a very nice food, didn't you? No, that was a waste of time, yeah. Yeah, yeah so like I said, yeah. It's been those days today, but you know, it's all right. We're here now, we're a bit disappointed we couldn't count, but the weather's been so bad today, we've been so free to the bone all day. Torrential rain all day, we couldn't even record anything. No, no, yeah, I mean the last time we spoke to you I think we'd stop for a coffee trying to figure out what we're going to do for accommodation. Um, nice. So yeah, there we go. That's what touring is, that's what it is sometimes, you know, we've got to go with the flow and uh, the flow has led us to this rather nice room here. Yeah. In I just, remember, I just remember shower and sleep. I don't want anything yeah. to do. Like. We set up, uh, we set off on this tour that we were going to be at a campsite and finish by four, or five o'clock every night and cook our tea and all the rest of it. Just gone eleven now. Yeah, so there we go. We're, we're knackered. We're tired. We're going to go sleep here and uh, commence tomorrow. Yeah. Hope you had a better day. <laughs> <laughs> See you on the road next time. Bye.